Joel Keller, our director of eSports. These you, demands? Why don't you read each demand? Oh, come on, man. You know the demands are. Give me a break. Mr. Keller. Mr. Keller, can you commit to firing Bart Chief Gary G? Yes or no? I am, I am not willing to commit to firing uh, Chief G. So that is for the record. Until a full investigation is completed. Okay, next. Next. Can you also can you commit to fire and prosecute Bart Officer Tony Perrone? I can't commit to fire Officer Tony Perrone because he's an employee of the district. He's okay, so it's no. Let me let me Can you commit? Can you commit? I'm trying. Wait, I'm trying to be respectful to you. Would you please extend that respect to me? I think it's. Well, that's can, a different you story. Me, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I apologize. Apparently, my microphone was not on. The question is: Would I commit to firing chief? I mean, the uh, the officer. Support it. My response is that until a full investigation is completed, until we know the facts of that investigation, this board doesn't have the authority to do so that. So your answer is no. My answer is no at this time. Okay. So let's be clear that there is a difference between the criminal prosecution, which you do not have the authority for, and there is the administrative oversight, which you do have the authority for. Am I correct? Uh, let me let me respond to that. This yes, is, please. That's a fair question. We do have the, res the responsibility for the administrative oversight. Mm -hmm. We have hired an independent uh, firm to, to complete that investigation. But at the same time, there is a criminal, ongoing criminal investigation of activities that occurred on that platform that evening. That's being conducted by the Bart Police Department, and it is expected that that investigation will be completed within two weeks and turned over to the district attorney's office. Right. So, we, so, so, but just so we're clear, you already had an investigation that you turned over to the district attorney's office in which you cleared all of the other other officers. Is that correct? That, that's not correct. So, please help us be correct. Okay. The, the, the investigation that was turned over to the district attorney's office resulted in an indictment against a former Bart Police officer. Uh -huh. That indictment is going forward. As a result of that indictment, information was returned to the district from the district attorney's office, which included additional information that the police department had not had access to up until that point, which triggered the additional uh, investigation, which is currently underway to determine if there was any additional criminal wrongdoing that occurred during that time on January 1st. Okay, once wait, that, come, let me, let me, let me, come on, I'm being respectful, mm -hmm. I'd ask the same from you. All right. Once that, once that criminal investigation is complete, that information will be returned to the district attorney's office, and if any of that investigation results in criminal charges, the district attorney will be in a position to take action against any person who is on that platform that evening. So I may be one of the most patient members of my coalition, but let me just be clear. You are. You let are. me just be clear that there was an investigation, and in that, in the course of that investigation, no one was fired under your administrative purview. Right. Measure Lee was not fired, That's and right. none of the other officers were fired. You did conduct an investigation. And although we can observe, I believe that if Miss Sweet turned around right now and socked you in the face, she would be removed from this board. Okay. And we can observe that Officer Peroni socked Oscar Grant in the face unprovoked. And we think you don't need an outside group to determine that that's incorrect. That's we think you don't need an outside group to fire Gary G. We think you don't need an outside group to govern yourself and do your job. So let us be clear, we heard you and we were respectful. Respect what it is that we're saying. We are elevating your level of responsibility. Yes. You have a responsibility to do something now about what you are raising. Maybe the yes. investigation will turn up other officers who need to be That's disciplined. Right. But there are some right now that we're really clear on and you should be clear as well. Please continue. Can I, can I respectfully respond to that? I think the time for, we appreciate that. We would love to hear some more of your responses in writing, but we'd like to move on to the other board. I think so the last commitment, Mr. Keller, can you commit to respond to all public concerns in open, accessible meetings? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So the next uh, art director is Bob Franklin. Mr. Franklin, do you support these demands? Um, as far as the accessibility of public meetings, I do. I do support that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Fire an officer for room. And, and the next is fire as far as firing Chief G. Yes. I, I, no, I if I can answer in my capacity. I've been with the Bart organization for 11 years, and just just so I'm just going to be honest, and you guys have had the opportunity, and we've been respectfully listening. When people want something from Bart Police, 
I'm the liaison to the community. They come to me, they say, we want something, I hold the meeting, and, and, and every single, and, and until this incident, which is tragic and extremely regrettable, and, but until this incident, every single request has been for more BART police, for, for improved relations. And from who? From who? From, from the city of Oakland, from council member. City of Oakland? Where are you, sir? We're not talking about the past, we're talking about the well, murder. We're not talking about Montclair, we're right here. Unacceptable. And, and I and I hear and, 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 and I ask for for my respect so, as well. So I'm, yes I'm listening no. to you, and, and I it's not just a clear so yes, yes or no. Or no. It, here's my my experience it's with the chief. It's not it's not a cover up. The chief has been extremely responsive to the community what? for the 11 years that I have known him. In my experience, and the most important thing that this chief can do, you know, he had wait. It just this is important to hear, and you know, we hear this dialogue that there's a cover up. And, and the chief, you know, one thing that Bart has been extremely criticized for is our lack of information. People, you see the video, you want more information. And, and just we let me finish, let me finish. And, and if we provided this information, if we, if we endangered the, the, this trial moving forward, that is the worst thing this organization could have done. And, 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 and no, we haven't. If this, if we have not, this, this evidence will, the majority of this evidence I have substantially will stand. And, and until Chief G, until I hear specifically of what Chief G has done, I will support him. He told his officers he passed out a memo telling his officers to provide food, money, yes. other support for Mr. Coward Messerly. What do you mean? And, and I, I will respond to that. And, okay, respond. And, and, and I guess it's not what you want to hear. But here's, here's the other side, just so we get it out in the public and, and you hear the other side to this. If, if, if this had, if you had been, I mean, we're human beings and until this- Usher was a human being. I, I understand wrong. that. And it's, and it's, 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 He resigned. The, the, re the reason, I mean, that, that, that memo was horrible, was, was a horrible memo to say, it, it was. It was a horrible agenda. The chief has acknowledged that, it, but it, show, it showed his attempt, maybe not successful, but his attempt at leadership. And, and, uh, just, just wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just explaining, you know. So, are you serious? Wait, 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 it seems where this conversation is going to be productive. We are very clear that we, yes, surprise. Excuse me. The reason, the reason is, the reason is because we have done our due diligence and our job to investigate these demands. We didn't come with every demand we could possibly have. We came with what we feel are the low-hanging fruits, the bare minimum of what you should do. So the fact that we still have debate over what we feel are the bare minimum is unacceptable. So it's not because, you know, we're unruly, it's because you're unprepared to do what is necessary. What is necessary is that Chief G be fired, Officer Peroni be fired, and these conversations be opened up so that there are forums, including your hiring of consultants for the community to give input. That is what is necessary. It really does, it's not going to require a whole lot of conversation back and forth. You can call me, everybody has my number, and we can talk it out, and perhaps that will inform our process. But the reality is, this is the bare minimum of what needs to be done. So right now, we would respectfully request that you respond, whether you support firing Chief G, firing Officer Peroni, and uh, holding more accountable processes where the where the um, holding more accountable processes where the community can be heard from before you make a decision to spend one hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollars. So why don't we just do this a much more simple way and ask for board members to raise their hands if you support the firing of uh, of Chief Gary G. Please raise your hand. All right. 